It's gone through the roof. We've been pumping it up, uh, and we're just days away. So three weeks in, who does this epic Buccaneers-Pats matchup mean more to, Tom Brady or Bill Belichick? Mm -hmm. I, I think about Brady, and he was the sixth quarterback taken in the, night, in the 2000 draft, and he remembers all those players, and it still affects him today, and it still drives him today. And I think about... This man, and, and, and never wanting to have anything but his own legacy be the determining factor of how things were left, and him having rewritten history so many times, and I just I don't like the way things ended for him in Foxborough. Mm -hmm. And I go back to that playoff game two years ago when he's going up against Ryan Tannehill in the Tennessee Titans, oh a team that was on a nice little run here, and Brady's last pass as a Patriot in Foxborough was this. Mm -hmm. A pick six to Logan Ryan, a former so teammate, weird. no less who brought it in and basically ended Brady's time as a Patriot. It's such a weird ending for Brady. I thought for sure they would win this game and then Brady might even catch some heat and go on and do something in Baltimore the following week if that's where they were headed or whatever it was going to be. I, I, it's a, that's how his, to me, Brady wants to get that last word and the stench of that season and that era and that time ending in Foxborough that way, I think it still sits with him. And he might look at it and watch the show and Tom would say, are you kidding? I just won a Super Bowl last year. I don't, no, I, I think, think I you're can. right. I don't think he likes the fact that his last pass in Foxborough in front of those fans was a pick six to a team, the 2020 Titans and 2019 Titans that did go to the AC Championship game, but were not necessarily world beaters that year. It wasn't against Manning. It wasn't against Mahomes. It wasn't against one of the great defenses of all time. His final pass as a Patriot was a pick six against the Tennessee mm -hmm. Titans in the rain on a Saturday night playoff game. It's weird. Yep. I think Brady wants to get a last laugh here. Brady wants to get a last feel, and Brady wants to get a last pass that he wants to look back on and say, that's how I ended things in Fox. Does it mean more? So it means more to Tom Brady. I think it does. You think it does? It was supposed to be he waves as he walks yeah. off winning the title game and the Super Bowl and all that. What you're talking about, like, let's not put too fine a point on it. There's massive egos are involved here, too. Like, the Belichick ego, the Brady ego. Is Bill Belichick the greatest coach of all time? I mean, is he? Because he gets talked about. The greatest coach in team sports history. It's, he's not getting compared to Don Shula anymore. He gets compared to John Wooden and Red Auerbach. Is he the greatest coach of all time, or is he a really good coach who found a Powerball ticket in the sixth round of the draft and rode that thing for 20 years? <laughs> I don't know. We, might, we may go a step towards finding out in this game because let's pull it up. Bill Belichick as a head coach without Tom Brady, number 12, with Tom Brady, a 3,064 without, 62 and 74, sub 500. Without Tom Brady in New England, 26 and 30. You know, they lost that Mo Lewis game that Brady came in. They were 0-2 to start that season because they lost the week before without Tom Brady. Then Brady comes in and they start winning. I, I just want to know, like, of course Belichick is a great football coach, but are we pumping the brakes on this greatness stuff because actually Brady is the greatest? Would Phil Jackson have taken some just random Hornets teams or Nuggets teams to the, the finals? Or is because he always said Kobe and Jordan? I don't know. But I think Belichick wants this one bad. If you have enough ego to name your boat after how many championship rings you've won, which I respect, you got to beat this guy. If Tom Brady comes in and wins 41 to 10 and just waves and everybody worships him and Belichick's yesterday's news, I don't know. I think Belichick wants it bad and all this fake modesty is BS. Huge ego, huge stakes. Yeah, you guys make two great points, and it has me like pondering over here. But um, <laughs> it could be I, rough. I think it's I think it's got to be Belichick. Okay. I mean, for a, a couple reasons. I mean, this could be one of the only things he hangs his hat on this year for sure. And a team win, it would be just great for the team. I mean, maybe get some going. Um, but you know, it, I just feel like. When the Patriots beat him and at the center field, Bill Belichick's like, yeah, I still know how to beat you, okay? Just, mm -hmm. just know that, okay? Mm -hmm. I, I know how to do it. And so it's going to be a, the ultimate chess match, I feel like. And, and it's going to be fun to watch. Um, but at the end of the day, like, Tom Brady just secured his legacy when he played there, played New He's England vindicated. for 34, 35 years, yeah. it seems like. And then went to a team the next year and wins a Super Bowl right away after being in one uniform for a, a long time. I mean, that, he, he secured his legacy, which to me is like, all right, yeah. well, we know the answer to this question. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was, you know, if, if he w hadn't won a championship last year, we would have been like, okay, well, who needs who? Does Brady, yeah, yeah, yeah. Does Brady <laughs> need Bill or does mm -hmm. Bill need Brady? Mm -hmm. The question we, is done. We, it's, it's answered. It's damn right it's it is. answered. We just want a good game right now. Mm -hmm. We want to see Tom Brady play his last game in Foxborough and light it up. And 
Bill just wants to but win. But it does somewhere. change. So, something that can happen in this game can change how we look at it. Like, you're talking about egos. We're talking about personally who wants it more, who is it more important to between Bill and Tom. But public perception is another little intriguing angle to this. Like, how we look mm -hmm. at these guys will change. Like, Tom might, Tom goes in and loses this game. We're not taking anything away from Tom. Mm -mm. Bill loses this game. This is a one-and-two team that's going to miss the postseason, mm -hmm. potentially, for two years in a row with Bill Belichick. So I think if... If we, I just don't even know if Bill cares about public perception. Mm. You're talking about his ego, why he wants this win. Tom has come out time. I want to be talked about like one of the greats. I didn't get talked about like this. I didn't feel this way. I should be. I'm the best. I'm the best. And but Bill's not. I've never. Heard, does Bill even care? Does Bill care about what any of us think of Bill? Because that sort of does. I really do think drive Tom Brady in a way. It drives. 99.9% .9 of people that way. I don't know what even motivates Bill to name his both that. I think it's all for him. Mm. And I think he does want it for him. Public perception-wise, Bill needs this game. Mm. There's Obviously. a very loaded word that is one step above public perception, and it's legacy, and we talk yeah. about it all the time. You yeah, know, Belichick can be the, the, the monotone guy in the media. They bring him out before the Super Bowl a few years ago, and it's all the Super Bowl champs in these burgundy jackets, and he comes out with two fists full of rings and smiles and put them towards the camera. This is no shrinking violet as, oh, I'm just about ball. Like, he is very much a fan of himself. He just doesn't put it that way. And if he gets hammered this way, I think it'll be tough for him. I really do. Peter, he, he, I hear what you're saying. He respects history so much. Yes. Uh -huh. His place in it. But yes. I agree with you that I don't think he's a beat my chest, I'm the best coach ever. I think in his own confidence, he knows he's got the rings. And I don't know if he cares at all about, A, what we talk about, but the outside world and legacy. I do think he personally would love to beat Tom Brady. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Both personally want to beat each other, probably equally competitive-wise. How uh, does the Pats winning this one? What does it do for the gap um, as between like Bill and Tom and that? What does it do for that? If the Pats, it's a, nice, up... it's a nice win on the Belichick side of that uh, that chalkboard. If you put it up and you've got Brady wins and Belichick wins, no, no. this one counts. I think it would be a big deal. I yeah. think it's like if he schemes them up like they did the Rams in that first Super Bowl, yeah. and Warner and Falker just getting rocked, and it's so obviously or the Rams coaching. second Super Bowl, with yeah, off in McVay when he yeah. just undresses them. If he does that to Brady, like... no, that would be the one. Then we got a whole different ball game. <laughs> <laughs> now we got Richard. I think Sherman it goes a little bit it's... deeper than that, though. You I do? Think, what do you got? I think if if the Pats beat him and you know, but Tom Brady still lights it up, it's like okay, you know, whatever. But mm -hmm. if the Pats beat him and Tom Brady throws two, three picks, yeah, 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 that's then massive. then as Belichick, I'm like, son, I know how to beat you, okay? <laughs> so I you, know so how to beat you. You're doing what Eli did the other night. <laughs> well, silence doubters of Bill Belichick or people who are making those. I think it'd be massive. Yeah. I think how this season play, how the Mac Jones phase plays out, will say a lot about Belichick because, damn, if he starts winning these, you know, conference titles and things like that with this kid, that's massive.